All right, so we're in South Africa with, um, I think we're in El yeah, Elgin, um, with what's called Sorel from Nomad Wines. Um, and pretty cool. I think we are, well, you what we are, you are um, one of the first people to be drinking this wine in the US. Uh, they just got it in like a month ago and we bought most of it for the club. <laughs> there wasn't really much left for anyone else after that. So thanks Pascal Schilt for letting us have it. Um, and yeah, this label is brand new. Um, they've been producing in South Africa for a few years, but this is really the first time they've done much stuff outside of there. So really excited for it. Very fun crew. They only make two wines right now, this one, and they actually haven't, I don't think they even made enough to export, um, the other one. So hopefully we'll get that one at some point as well. So it is a hundred percent Syrah from Elgin, like I mentioned. Um, and the way that it's made is it's basically like half whole bunch with like carbonic maceration, but also like 30% is not. Um, so I think like the, what they were going for when they made it was they were trying to make something that would like be really fresh and yummy when you drink it now. So it has some of that carbonic, um, that'll make it like kind of glue glue, but not quite. Um, and then the rest of it like is ready for, you know, like some lovely aging. This could probably do like five to seven years. Um, and it's going to have a lot of the other qualities that we'll see about it in a minute come out. Like there's hints at them now, but this is only, I think, uh, 2020, 2019. I think it's, oh yeah, 2020. So <laughs> it's certainly got some time left. All right. And it's very, very purpley on the uh, site. Sorry, my dog's making noise behind me. So on the nose, like I was just mentioning, it goes through the carbonic. So it does have a little bit of that like banana bubble gum, but it's really, it's faint. Like I'm getting it mainly at the top. And then when you get down here, it goes a lot deeper. It's like, you know, like blue plums and like darker fruit, blackberries, um, dark cherries, maybe a little bit like licorice, but nothing crazy. Um, let's try it. Mm, it's like kind of deep and broody, which is not that I'm coming for common for Syrah, but I will say what I was not getting on the nose that I'm getting a little bit on the palate now is it almost has like a little bit of like vegetal notes um, right on the finish, which surprised me like a little bit like bell pepper maybe. So depending on which club you're in, you may or may not have uh, one or two other Syrahs in it. Like the, <laughs> the red club has three different Syrahs in it right now. So that's like totally different comparison, South African, like the, the French one and a Sonoma one. Um, so this one is total departure from the other ones that you'll have in the club, depending on which one you're in. Um, because I don't know, like, I think maybe something about that vegetal note, I've seen that on a lot of different, um, South African wines. And I don't know if it's like from early harvesting or where exactly that normally comes from, but it's a very different take on what's happening with Syrah than what you'll see, um, and maybe more like traditional style Syrahs. So let's try it again. Yeah, so there's also a bit of like baking spice and herbs, like dried herbs maybe. It definitely has like a dried quality to it. Um, and I think like as far as, and like the finish is lovely. It's not crazy long, but like it's definitely long. And I think what I'm, all those things I was just mentioning, I think you're going to see more of those things as you age it. Um, like, and really honestly, like the bubblegum, like carbonic part that I was saying on the nose, I'm really not getting much of that at all on the palate. I would still say that it's lovely, easy drinking and it's great for right now, but it really shows a lot of promise for you to kind of lay it down and give it some time as well. So for pairing, um, you could go in a lot of directions with this. Like mine's a little bit chilled and I would definitely recommend chilling it a little bit. Mine's probably a little too chilled. It's probably been in there for like 20 minutes when I would make 25, I'd probably maybe do it for like 15. Um, and so let's think, I would say, let's start with vegetarian. Cause I never do that. I would say like, you know, grilled veggies would be great here. Um, something with like something even a little bit stewed could be nice here. Like, a, like a ratatouille would be, would be a good one. Um, and then moving into other types, like, especially knowing that this is for August, going to be good with grilled foods. 
um not all grilled foods but like I would oh, you know what this would be good with like a brat like you're doing like bratwurst or something I could really see this playing nicely there um ribs if you're like you know it's funny Nick always wants to do beer with those things but I always not always but I generally prefer wine so I I like to match up foods that you would typically put with beer and try and find ones that would make sense. So I think that this would be a good one. We had ribs recently and I think that would have been really nice with it. Um, especially if you did ribs and you did like grilled veggies with it, like that would be like a perfect pairing. Uh, let's do one more. What else could we do here? Let's say like something that's not on the grill, something more inside. I guess like I already said stewed stuff. So like even, you know, on like the, um, the meatier side, like a stroganoff could be nice with this. Again, that's heftier. So let's say maybe that's one for if you like lay it down until at least like the end of this year, or just save it for a while and open it. Like that's going to be even better if you want to go with like a beef stroganoff or something like that. Um, so very fun, kind of exclusive wine. Really excited that we were able to put it in most of the clubs. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a really fun version of Syrah.